Hi students, this video will show how to push charges through if they are not located in the open items window. So for our patient Craig Test Smith that I'm working with here, um, again, it's not the, the Craig Smith that's in your book, but uh, close to it, and just to show you it. Um, I put through some charges for chapter seven for him, the same as Craig X Smith, just to show that. And if I click in the open items window, his new charges are not showing. Please disregard this first one. It's an old charge, okay? And our patients might have different charges, but the new ones that we're working with are not showing. So I'm gonna show you how to push those through so you can move through chapter nine and chapter 10. All right, I'm just gonna close this because they're not there, so what do I do? All right, we're gonna click on the home uh, module here and scroll down under visits, missing encounters, we're gonna click on charges. Right here, right on this charges, you're gonna click that and we can push through some charges that might not be showing. You always wanna give your parameters uh, enough time so that, to make sure that you're gonna capture all the information. So I'm just gonna go from January through today and today is the second. So now if you're watching this in a few semesters, it's not gonna be the right date, so please make sure it's today's date. Um, all providers, all locations, visits yes, charges no, we're gonna click go. So here are some charges that have not been showing. And uh, so to push these through, uh, You'll see these charges buttons on the on the side. Now here we see our Craig Smith that I've been working with. Um, his appointment was November 25th. For Craig, let's say that we had like four or five patients that were seen on November 25th. All of them would be listed under the November 25th date over here. Okay, with one charge button. That charge button refers to all of the patients within that same date. So if we had four patients under our Craig Test Smith, all of those charges would be pushed forward by clicking the one button. So that's a, a, little, um, a little confusing, but just to let you know that. All right, so we're going to click on charges. And here it says uh, our transaction dates, show it all. Oh, and then go on the left side of the screen. So here are our charges for Craig Smith that we put in for chapter seven, where we captured the visit. Okay, they're all showing here. And when we're sure it's good, we're gonna click save down at the bottom. So now we have to wait. Again, you might need to count to 60. Don't get too excited. We gotta wait until we see this error message. It says transaction saved. Okay, like I've said before, even though it says there was an error, that's because we're not connected to an electronic claims uh, situation here, you know, because we're not in a real a real hospital or a real clinic, but it does say transaction safe. So we're good. We're going to say okay and okay. And so now he's removed from this. If we wanted to push through, like for instance, this one was from September, we could do the same thing. We could click charges. And again, if there were many patients under Thomas Barrett here, one charge button would would capture all of for that date. And again, it's the go on the left. And we would see all of our patients and their charges and save. So it's just to show you that one more time. And when we click save, we have to wait a bit, be patient until we get the error message and okay. And okay. So now just to test this now, we have I still have my patient in contacts. I'm going to click on Craig's open items window and now uh, you will see again just disregard this this old one here uh, but we can see our new our new charges it pushed through so now we're ready to move forward with billing that's the next video